Definitely didn't see myself making a thumbnail like this, but it's true. We got a Takeda official teaser trailer, and Sektor is a female. And we do have some interesting things and updates to go over, so hang tight and we'll go over everything. My losing streak against you ends today. Only if your combat has improved. <laughs> I think that was a good looking trailer. I think Takeda looks polished, he looks clean. Genuinely, I was surprised a little bit. And something I want to point out is that this Takeda looks very similar, if not the same, to the one that was halfway up the pyramid on the last chapter in the story mode. We do have an older looking Takeda, or at least I think he looks older, and that is with the combat pack 1 reveal where all the guest characters are together and on the versus screen. If you look over at Takeda, his hair looks is throwing me off a little bit because if this is a younger Takeda, I'm genuinely wondering if this is from Liu Kang's timeline. And I can see how that's possible if he's training with them and he is younger and he is donning the Shirai Ryu colors. Now this could be like a carpet rug pull out from underneath our feet move to where this would just become an available skin and this isn't his default skin, it's just the one from the pyramid from the last chapter and that the older Takeda truly will be the default skin Takeda we get, assuming that that one is from a different timeline. I know I'm overthinking this, I just wasn't expecting to see this Takeda model in the teaser trailer when the versus screen Takeda looks a little older in my opinion. Now at the time of uploading this, this is still fresh, I still got my wheels turning. Now putting the story speculation to the side, I think Takeda's gameplay actually looks pretty good, and I'm happy with how the character is presented too. I'm assuming even if this isn't Takeda's default skin, that it's at least going to be one that's going to be available to us. I also considered that maybe this is a remodel of Takeda since they did that with Ermac, but we didn't really get backlash for Takeda's appearance, and I really can't think of any reason why they would, and I do want to say of course it is possible, but I don't think that's the case. Also, for those who aren't aware, I do want to share real quick that we did get two free Molina palettes. We got the Bloody Generous one and the Kindness Kills one. So it's just two palettes from the Union of Light Skin, but they are free and all you have to do is log in to get them. And I think it's pretty cool that we got these for free. It's not one of my favorite Molina skins, but again, I'm not complaining. It is nice to get some free MK gear. Now I do want to talk about the biggest, latest data mine news, and that is that Sektor is a female, and I'm sure some of you have already heard that Cyrax is a female from early on, around when the game launched when data miners were finding out a lot of information. Now Cyrax being a female had dragged on for some time, but Sektor wasn't in the equation, and I do find it wild that these data miners have found sound files of Sektor when they're hit, and it's the sound of a female. Now already for the people that are aware, there are some people that are really upset about this because there already was some pushback for Cyrax being a female, and now both Cyrax and Sektor will be a female. And I have seen the argument people saying that the MK1 roster needs more female characters, and that's the reason why they're making Sektor and Cyrax females. And personally, I just think that's a weak argument. I don't think that's the reason why they're making Cyrax and Sektor a female. And I don't want to go down the rabbit hole of saying why it's good or bad that they are female, because I don't know what to expect yet. I'm hoping for some big changes. I do think there's potential there that this could be something really cool. Without anything to go off of as far as story for Sektor, I have no judgment. I can't say it's a bad idea when I don't know anything about it yet. And until we see it, I can't say that it's a good idea yet either. It is going to be something new, and that is something to be excited for. And I love this game, I want to see it have good sequels, so I'm really hoping it's good. And for players that are Cyrax or Sektor mains that are finally getting their characters in MK1, I'm sure that's exciting and I'm happy for them. For those that are upset finding out that they got gender swapped, I had to put myself in that perspective because I'm a smoke main and I'm like, well how would I feel if smoke got switched over to a female? And it puts me back in the same situation, it could either be cool or it could suck, it just depends how they handle it. With that being said, I do like Cyrax and Sektor a lot, so I hope it does turn out to be a good thing. And I want to add on that it would be disappointing if we did get Cyrax and Sektor with these swaps and they were just in combat packs with no backstory or content patch to go with it. With a change this big, I expect some story. As of this upload, none of us know how the Cyber Initiative's gonna work out yet. Look at Mortal Kombat's female lineup, and they're all pretty badass characters. So I want to get back to my point that if Smoke got turned into a female, at first I might be skeptical, like yeah, they might mess this up, that's absolutely possible. 
but I do have the confidence that there is a chance that it could be really cool too. And one of my examples for that is Frost, and she's one of my favorite characters, and I remember during Deadly Alliance, a lot of people just called her a clone version of Sub-Zero. She's just a female Sub-Zero. But she's not. Frost was a good character. And she wasn't just happy working with the good guys. She wanted to use her power for more and become the leader of the Lin Kuei herself. And seeing Bihan in MK1 and the way he acts and his ambitions just feel very similar to how Frosts are for me in the 3D era. So I do like Bihan a lot in MK1. It just feels very similar. I've seen this routine before. But the point that I'm getting at is that it can be done. But I do think it can be more exciting for different characters. For those of you that remember Mortal Kombat 11 and played Nightwolf beating the game, it would show a female Nightwolf in the Hourglass. And a lot of people took that as a hint as a possible female Nightwolf in the next game. And I will say I was one of the people excited for a female Nightwolf. I thought she looked pretty cool. I want to reiterate, I'm not just saying Cyrax and Sector being a female is a good thing, because I don't know yet. And to say that this is lazy, or that this is stupid just because they're females, really doesn't give a big change for something like this a fair shot. I would say one of my biggest criticisms of this game's story is actually bringing back Shang Tsung from Mortal Kombat 11's Aftermath. I've enjoyed a lot of the changes they've made so far to give a different story. Now I can't say I'm a fan of all of them, but I do like most of them. And since there isn't enough out there besides enough to confirm that Cyrax and Sektor are females, Knowing that I don't know the story yet is exciting enough and has me waiting because I really want to find out and see how this is going to work out. So for Mortal Kombat characters we got Harumi, Sektor, Cyrax, Noob Saibot, and Takeda coming right around the corner. I just wanted to share a quick update video on my thoughts on all this. I'll also have a video soon covering the community polls and another tier list video covering the next character skins. And like and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.